Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I haven't done a haul video in a while and one of you guys requested a haul. So here it is. This is a winter haul. There are a couple of spring items, but primarily it's winter. Most of these pieces I've been wearing. A couple I haven't even photographed on my Instagram yet. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please do. It's at me Siller. So let's just get into the haul. This is going to be a try on haul because I just prefer those and I like to see how it looks on a body. Let's start off with, with what I'm wearing. It's a knit set by Fabletics. If you guys don't know, I am a Fabletics partner, so every single month I get a new set. This one was from January, I believe. It's one of my favorites. You guys know I love high-waisted bottoms. Those are the only kinds that I wear. It's a seamless rib. I love an all-black look. These pants were long on me, so I did have to cut them. Typically, if something needs to get hemmed, I would do it professionally or like do it myself, but these I was just like, I want to wear them now, so I just cut them. And fortunately enough, this fabric didn't fray, so it worked really well, and it's been good so far. And then for the matching crop top, same fabric, really comfortable, no padding. You could wear it on its own. I would want to wear it with something underneath personally, but overall, very comfortable. The one negative to the set is that it tends to cling to dog fur. If you don't have a dog or you don't have a cat or anything, then you don't really have to worry about that. But this just collects booze fur everywhere. So that is the one negative. You know what doesn't collect fur? This Hilaire set. I've already reviewed it, so if you guys want a more in-depth video, definitely check that video out. I'll leave it right here. This set is so good. First, let me put this on. These feel like butter. When my dog plays with me or she's cuddling with me, either dogs, this, the fur just comes right off. You All I have to do is wipe the fur and it comes off immediately. The fur will stick initially, but it comes right off. Definitely recommend these leggings. The top is made out of the same material. Love this crop top, has light padding. I like that it's longer and these leggings are a great length for someone who is on the shorter side. I'm 5'4 and I love the V. It just accentuates your waist. Really good. The one negative to these is this is not for a high intensity workout. This is for like a light workout, maybe some yoga, just like lounging around at home, doing errands, walking your dog type of thing. Because whenever I do squats or like heavy lifting, these leggings start to like fall a little bit. So right now they're covering my belly. But when I do these workouts, you'll see my belly button. So it's the only negative besides that. Really love these. I've been wearing these nonstop. Let's move on to the next workout set. I have two more. This one's gonna really get you excited for spring. Does this workout set not get you excited for spring? It has this cool shine. It's this iridescent luxe. I believe that's what the leggings are called. Seven eighths, perfect for me. And I really like how the pockets are very important. Having my phone with me when I'm working out. Super high waisted. I would say the negative to these, and I just got these for February, is that this sports bra tends to, I think there's just like excess fabric right in the chest by my armpit. So if I'm turning a certain way, it kind of just bulges out. Now, I don't know if that's a design error or because I have a smaller chest. Just keep that in mind if you are interested in the sports bra. But I really like the light padding, the adjustable straps. The color is so much fun. This fabric reminds me of a top that I used to have in second grade in like a light blue. And at that time, we had pet centipedes and I was holding one and I was a little nervous and I accidentally dropped it and it clung to my shirt just because of the fabric and it looks exactly like this and I was like mortified because the centipede was just on my shirt sticking, not moving. I'll never forget that years later and I still remember that. But anyway, this is a really fun set. It comes in a few different colors. Now let's move on to my last workout outfit. Now this is my favorite workout set from Fabletics. I've been a partner with them for almost a year and this is by far my favorite set and it's mainly because of the fabric. This is a sculpt knit and it really cinches you in. But it's so comfortable so it won't leave any lines around your step anchor or anything. I know some leggings will do that where it's like super tight and uncomfortable but no, these will keep everything in, make your body look really great without leaving any marks. I also love this color. It does come in with some essential colors as well. I think black, maybe gray, and navy. You'll definitely have to check the links down below. If I had to say negative is that this fabric, and I kind of seem to notice that with all the styles when they use the sculpt knit fabric, is that there are no pockets, sadly. That is what it's missing our pockets. This bra is really cute. Fortunately, no padding, but it is double lined, so that's okay. 
we can deal with that but this is by far my favorite set now you will see these leggings are a little bit long on me but they do have three perforated lines so you can easily use some scissors and just cut them off and you won't have to deal with any fraying i just haven't done that yet with these leggings but i have done that before and some other fabletic leggings in the same material by far my favorite set so if you're new to fabletics and you're looking to purchase something i would definitely get this fabric next we have is this sweater it was gifted to me from 12 tribe this was a collaboration with the salty blonde not too familiar with that blogger but this is a fun sweater so it's longer you could totally wear this with some boots i probably wear this with those fabletic knit pants that i showed you guys earlier it's just really comfortable not a print that i would typically get it is fun and just something different next item is this knit set by revolve i love sets because you can wear them together or separately most times i wear this separately i don't even think i photographed this together but I definitely should very soon. Now, I love wearing whites. I love wearing blacks. I'm a neutrals girl, can't already tell. But this was really perfect. You know, knit bralettes have been super popular these last two years, ever since quarantine started. And also this, I don't know what to call it. I guess it would be a very cropped cardigan. I don't know the technical name for it, but as you can see, a lot of skin is showing from the back from the front i do have another one that's like this that's a little bit longer that i'll show you guys very soon yeah i just really like it it's a basic kind of keeps you warm but kind of doesn't and i love wearing this knit bralette on its own you guys have probably seen it a lot on my instagram i like wearing it just by itself because it's so simple and i love wearing this bralette with other pieces another basic that i think everyone needs is a white button up now i already have one but not like this this one is just longer in the back and i really appreciate this i've styled this with my active wear you can style it with a bikini it's so versatile you can even style it with what i'm wearing now just a nip bralette and a button up over it it's long enough but it's not too oversized it's the perfect white button up. when i got this one at tj maxx on a whim but i will link one very similar down below can't you tell i love wearing white this one is by zara i just love the silhouette of this one it's cropped but i really love the neckline it really shows off your neck a bit of your chest this is a cropped cardigan i'm excited to wear this now but also in the spring another knit set what a surprise this one is also by revolve this this one is a little bit thicker obviously it covers up more skin it's like a vanilla shade it's a little bit warmer in color i really love this because again you can wear it separately or together so i know i could just wear this nick tank top in the springtime and just take this little again don't know what to call this a shrug a cardigan not sure but i could take this off and wear this for the springtime i love the cable neck texture just perfect for right now it's a great transitional piece this sweater is definitely more dressed up if you look closely there's a bit of shimmer to to it again still very neutral so it's going to go with a lot of things i just love the cut of this i'm a sucker for this kind of neckline it's so beautiful this is from revolve it's a great length as well not too long but not too short if you guys have been subscribed since last summer then you know i love this color i'm actually obsessed with it i was obsessed with it over the summer i was obsessed with it during fall i'm still loving it during winter i love it so much it's like a burnt red like terracotta color it's so beautiful i think it goes so nicely with my warmer undertones and my darker hair this sweater is from revolve i love the subtle cutouts like they're not too big of a cutout where you see a ton of skin but there is something there very comfortable not too thick a really great layering piece you know sweaters have been super popular last year and this year well i got a few at the thrift store they were all men's sweaters and i really want something that was more fitted in a more muted tone all the other ones that i had were like black gray just darker colors and i wanted something a little bit lighter so i found this one it's from free people i kind of like wearing with all the buttons or maybe just like one less button if you want to show like a little skin or something it's a really cute sweater not very warm but i do love the texture like that cable knit i haven't worn this sweater too much but i need to but i do think it'll be a great piece for the spring as well i've been wearing these pants for the last maybe five or six tops and these are my favorite faux leather pants for this year. They're from Zara 
and I love the look of them. They look like actual pants, meaning that they have pockets, they have belt loops, they have back pockets. This also comes in black, but last time I checked, they were out of stock, so I did get the bone color. They do have a slit at the bottom, which is really nice. One thing is, this is not for someone who is petite. You might be able to tell, but I had to fold these maybe three inches. I will eventually get them professionally hemmed, hopefully this month. But for now, I'm just doing the whole double-sided tape method and it's working. But I just want to let you know if you're someone who's shorter like me, so I am 5'4", this would fit better for someone who's like 5'7", you know? Or even 5'6", 5 5'6", 5 or 5'7". But I love these, I really wish I can get them in black. Maybe I'll check again. And if they do, I'll have them down below. These jeans were kindly sent to me by 12th Tribe. Usually I wouldn't pick something out like this for my body type, but I would say they look pretty good. Now they are a bit long, so I do have to wear heels with them. And the main reason why I wouldn't go for it is because of this big hole, but it's low enough and away from the crotch that I don't mind it. I do like the lighter wash and I like how it's a bit baggier, but it's still cinching at the waist. It's a fun pair of jeans, nothing that I have in my closet already, so I've been really enjoying wearing them. Out of my whole entire haul, this is my favorite. Now you guys have seen this top before in a couple of my videos and you always ask where it's from. It's from Rev, R-U-V-E. I'll have it linked down below. This is the matching skirt, which you guys don't ever see. I haven't even posted this on Instagram or anything. I'm just so excited to wear it when it's finally warmer out. This would have been a good like September outfit. Hopefully it'll be a good maybe April, May outfit. I just haven't had the chance to wear it together as a set, but this is so soft, not itchy. I know I've been saying soft in a lot of my pieces, but I only wear soft pieces. If they're itchy, I'm not wearing it because my skin is quite sensitive and I get rashes very easily, but this is like butter. I love the button detail, so if you want to like open it up, maybe you want to wear something underneath it to show it off, you can totally do that for the skirt or the sweater. You can also wear the skirt where the buttons are in the front. Now, I've seen that on their website as well. It's just a fun, really unique knit set. Now, while I'm here, let me show you my favorite boots. I have two pairs, two different price points. One's a bit higher, one's a bit lower. Right now, I'm wearing these white ones. They're more of a warm white. I love how fitted it is. I was really looking for a boot that was like tight, like a sock boot very comfortable. I can't remember the size of this heel, maybe two inches. It feels like nothing. These boots are very lightweight. The brand is called Charles and Keith. I'm very new to the brand. This is my first time purchasing something from them. They're a shoe brand. So far, I'm really enjoying them. They're not too expensive. I would say they're kind of middle of the range. These are the other boots. They're from Aloha. They have a bunch of different colors. I love the square toe. The heel is a nice, comfortable height. This isn't a sock boot, so it's not going to hug your ankles, but this is a really great everyday tan boot. Now this is real leather, but they do have faux leather as well. Aloha is a sustainable brand, so they make a limited amount of every style. So you do have to pre-order them. It does take some time, but they're so worth it. I'm very new to Aloha, and what I learned is that with their boots, many people were saying to size up, so I ended up getting a size 38. I'm typically a 37, so a 7 US. Now, these are a little loose if I were to wear just regular ankle socks, so I like wearing fuzzy socks, just to give me some warmth and also some padding because they're a little bit loose, so kind of just keep that in mind. I might have gone a size down, hard to say, because I am primarily wearing these in the cooler months, so wearing fuzzy socks isn't too odd, but just know that many people are going to size up, but if I were to wear just regular ankle socks, they'd be too loose on me. And I would say I'm a standard US 7. I used to not be someone who liked wearing brown, but this dress from Zara is so pretty, and I specifically like this shade of brown. Usually I wouldn't even buy body contrasts because I just don't think they look that great on me and I don't feel the most comfortable in them. But what I like about this, it has this gathering going on, so it just adds more shape to my body since I am more petite and slender. And I like these cutouts on the side. It's one shoulder, the straps are adjustable. I think it's currently on sale right now, so I'll have it linked down below. It's just a fun dress. Honestly, I haven't really worn that much. It's been so freaking cold. 
and I never leave my house, but I really love this dress and I definitely want to wear it out. You guys have seen this knit dress and a get ready with me for a Christmas party and I love it so much. This is a thin knit, so it's not going to keep you super warm, but I love how it fits my body. It fits really well. I believe I'm wearing a small. It does come in some fun colors like a green and a yellow if you're more interested in that. What I love about this is just the fit. Like it just hugs my body, but it's not like too tight and it's not uncomfortable or anything thing and I didn't have to hem it at all. It actually hits right above the ankle, so a perfect length for someone who's 5'4". If you watch my makeup tutorial, then you've seen this look before. I haven't had the chance to wear it out in public, only in a video for New Year's Eve, but it is so beautiful. I can't wait when there's a moment I can wear it. This embellished set is from, I'm blanking on the name and why can't I think of it, but I will have it down below. It's so beautiful. This top is quite cropped. Now there is lighting, so it's not completely sheer as far as like the bust area but in the sleeves they are sheer there are slits on the sleeves that's really nice since they're incredibly long and then this high-waisted skirt has a really big slit so it's very sexy it's quite heavy but not heavy to the point where it's drooping but it definitely has a good weight to it it also comes in a champagne color this to me is like the perfect special moment. You want everyone to look at you like eyes on you type of look. Super sexy. Can't wait to find an excuse to wear this. When I saw this on the For Love and Lemons website, I had to get it. Now this is a slip dress, but it's completely sheer. So I personally would wear something underneath. Like I'm not wearing this at home although it's more of a lingerie piece like I want to wear this and style it out and about so I'm wearing it with just some knit high-waisted shorts you can also wear it with a slip skirt I think that would look really cute the back is open it has a bow and it is quite low so just keep that in mind but what I really loved about it is the bodice area so delicate with the lace trim and everything I wore this in my euphoria inspired makeup look if you guys missed that video I'll leave it right here it doesn't really give a specific euphoria look maybe Cassie as far as like the colorway. I don't think it's edgy enough for Euphoria. I just really want to wear it. So this is one of the spring items that's not so winter but I did want to include it since I did get it last month. One thing I wish for Love and Lemons did is include like slip dresses and slip skirts like things to wear underneath so the consumer can actually wear it out and about and not just at home because this is too cute not to wear it. You can even wear it maybe even with like some cut off denim jeans in the summer i think that'd be super cute since this part is very feminine and the denim is more like relaxed and chill i think that'd be a nice combination if you thought that other dress was super cute look at this one this one is so darling it's a mini dress also from for love and lemons if you look closely it kind of looks like handkerchiefs were sewn together almost like a vintage dress which i've been dying to find something like that really hard to find this dress is so stinking cute. The straps are tied, so they're two little bows. Very much exposed in the chest area, so I did tape myself in. So just keep that in mind if you are sewing with a larger chest. So also this dress is quite short. Like this is as short as I would go doing the fingertip technique. I wouldn't go any shorter. It does have a slip underneath. I'm so excited to wear this. I can just picture myself in a cottage core vibe, you know? I love cottage core. If you guys don't know that, I did create a cottage core video. I think now a year and a half ago if you guys missed that video I'll leave it right here so much fun living out my cottage core dreams and I can't wait to do that this spring and summer especially since I'm redoing my landscaping guys exciting stuff I know very adulting things to do but it makes me super excited but this dress is darling and at the time they did have a longer version that I was really contemplating because I loved how that one looked but I didn't like how the bodice looked as much because it was quite revealing even more revealing than this if this dress is still available i'll have it linked down below for love and lemons they sell out really quickly and it's such a pain but i did get my hands on this dress and on a deal so i'm super excited the last thing i want to show you guys is this pullover i wouldn't necessarily style with this dress but i'm getting quite lazy since changing to all the outfits but this is so cozy. This was perfect during the fall and winter months. One, because it's super warm, I would wear this every time I'd walk my dogs, they go to the bathroom and everything. Really comfy, just feels like a blanket. I like the half zipper, the pockets are huge so you can fit 
whatever you need to right here that has a zipper. But then also on the sides for your hands when you want to keep them warm. This is from Fabletics and it just has kept me so warm. I hope you guys enjoyed my winter haul slash a little bit of spring. If you enjoy try on hauls, please like this video, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.